Well, the Galaxy S26 Ultra is still months away, but a new case leak just gave us our first solid look at Samsung's 2026 flagship. We're talking about a noticeable design shift, a massive camera change, and a magnetic upgrade that might finally put it on par with the competition. Stick around because this is what the S26 Ultra is actually expected to look like. So, this early case listing from a case maker called Thinborn is giving us a preview that goes beyond just a protective shell. It shows off some major hints about the phone's design and and features. First off, the design. That familiar triple lens vertical camera setup is coming back, but it's now all tucked inside a large, prominent, pill-shaped island. This is a small but noticeable shift from previous models, and it lines up perfectly with previous rumors we've heard. While the body might end up being a bit slimmer overall, you shouldn't expect a drastically thinner phone because those big lenses need room. The overall camera module and raised island mean it might not feel much smaller than the current Ultra. Now, for the biggest technical tease, Qi 2 and MagSafe-style wireless charging. The case images show a perfectly aligned magnetic ring right at the center. This is designed to drastically improve charging alignment, speed, and compatibility with magnetic accessories. You see, the Galaxy S25 Ultra was labeled Qi 2 ready, but it didn't actually have the built-in magnets for full support. Samsung held back because they interfere with the S Pen. How the company plans to get around that S Pen interference is still a big mystery, though it could tie into the rumored S Pen redesign. But if this magnetic charging does land, the Galaxy S26 Ultra would finally match both the Google Pixel 10 and the iPhone 17 lineups. Looking under the hood, the Ultra isn't going to reinvent the wheel, but Samsung is definitely fine-tuning things. We're expecting a brighter, more energy-efficient display. It should also debut with the powerful new Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 processor, at least for the US market. And a battery life should remain consistent, sticking with the familiar 5000 mAh cell. On the camera side, the telephoto lens seems to be holding steady with a 50 megapixel sensor and similar specs. But the main camera could get a big bump, still a 200 megapixel sensor, but now a much larger 1.1 inch Sony sensor. There's also chatter about Samsung bringing back a variable aperture, a move that would line up with Apple's rumored plans for the iPhone 18 Pro models. Finally, the fact that case makers like this are already listing the S26 Ultra suggests the launch is closer than you might think. While some rumors hinted a push to March, the accessories are ready for another potential January launch as per tradition. Expect more rumors to pop up constantly until Samsung makes it official. So, the key takeaway here is clear. The Galaxy S26 Ultra is shaping up to be a year of refinement and magnetic compatibility. We're getting a pill-shaped camera island, a potentially major wireless charging upgrade, and a bigger main camera sensor. Which of these rumored upgrades are you most excited about? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. You don't want to miss our next deep dive. Peace out.